Hello everyone, welcome back to Tactics. So in today's video, we are going to review the latest update of Matrix OS, an official custom ROM for Nothing Phone 2. So it is maintained by Drishal as you can see. Now let me tell you what version is this. This is 10.4.3, an official inbuilt gaps and it is based on Android version 14 upside down cake or Android U. This is the home screen as you can see and it is a little bit customized. I have changed the wallpaper and I have enabled the themed icons which is inbuilt in this custom ROM. Now going to the menu, you can see there is a UI which is completely blur in every segment. Like you can see the background wallpaper is uh, a little bit visible through the blur UI. Now talking about the power menu, yes, there is a, a blur and transparent power menu here. And you can enable the advanced restart option, including system recovery, bootloader and fast food D mode as well. First, I will talk about the pre-installed application which comes with this custom room. So first of all, talking about this camera, this is a lineageous camera and you can, uh, you know, click photos and record videos with this camera. You can install a uh, Google camera as well and you get this audio player inbuilt or you can see pre-installed and I, th I think it does not include the online library, but you can play the songs which are already um, available on your storage. You will get Dolby Atmos support here as well. You can enable Dolby Atmos and you can customize the audio. You can uh, change the equalizer options. Now talking about this one, this is recorder. You will get this recorder option and you can record your recordings in high quality as well. Yes, you will get calculator and calendar pre-installed. Talking about the phone application, you will get the Google dialer in this custom room because it comes with gaps pre-installed. When I click on this telephone option, it is asking me to set as default. So I guess there are two phones application which come with this uh, custom ROM. Let me enable this one. So this is actually the stock Android dialer. It is not a Google dialer. So you will get two dialer option in this custom ROM, a stock dialer and a Google dialer pre-installed. Talking about the safety net. So guys, you will get safety net passed by default if you are not using root because this ROM comes with kernel sue and you can install Majesk as well. So I have flashed Majesk here and I had to flash this uh, safety net fix or you can say play integrity fix module to fix the safety net and now my safety net is completely fixed here and it is you can see it is passing the it meets the basic device integrity and safety net also let me uh, tell you that it comes with basic evolution now let's talk about what is different in matrix os going to the settings guys you will see the settings ui it is the about from section basically now let me go back to the home page of settings I have enabled the widgets on settings homepage and you can see the background of this settings application is blurred and it is translucent. Now I have enabled light theme and it looks something like this now. Now uh, you will get this metric setting on the top only and all of the customization will be available here. So I'm not sure if it is visible to you or not. Let me change the theme first. Okay. First we will talk about the theme. So from here you can go to user interface. So you will get UI styles here in your settings but you know. Currently, I have enabled the Shishu Nights, which made all of the UI, complete UI transparent. I'll click on default and let us wait. So this is how the default UI looks like, okay? You can make it transparent by changing it to Shishu Nights or Shishu Immensity. Yes, we were talking about lock screen settings. So custom clock option, you will get the custom clock like we have seen in the previous video. And uh, yes, uh, this this one, the clock dual tone is my favorite one. And also the clock style is this one is my favorite as well. But for now, I'll keep it on clock dual. You can also change the font of your clocks from here, but you have to enable the default clock. You can enable the gestures like double tap to sleep. You can enable a custom under fingerprint sensor. Let me let me show you this icon. So this is a custom icon which I have applied from my gallery only. You can choose any IMG or PNG to set as the under display fingerprint sensor icon. You can also enable a custom animation when you press the fingerprint sensor area. So there are many options available like you can see on the screen currently I'm using the rhythm one and it looks like this very quick. Now let's talk about miscellaneous setting In miscellaneous setting you will get option tool. So you can hide the developer status from uh, applications which you have to choose from here. Now this option we have already seen in the previous video of uh, paranoid Android fan edition. You can enable the ignore window secure flag option as well. Game space is also available. You can add your games from here and you will get the Dan Maku notification option and you get all of the options which are basically available in the game mode. You can enable the higher FPS in games as well. We will talk about the games later and yes, uh, you have to watch a separate video for a gameplay uh, which, which will be available on my Playdex gaming channel. You can enable Netflix poof but it does not work on a device so just skip this one. Swipe to screenshot. So yes, uh, you can just drag three fingers and the screenshot will be there. You will get these options. Uh, to share, delete, edit and extend the screenshot to the full screen and you can directly send a screenshot to the Google Lens 
to search what is on the screen and guys you will get this island type notifications when when you enable it through settings you will get calls like this and you have to click here to pick up the call now pocket detection you can enable pocket detection so whenever your phone is in pocket it will not turn on by mistake like this it will you know defend your phone defend your screen talking about navigation so navigation bar you can enable the navigation bar and you can enable pixel animation on two button and three button bars but i don't use them you can set uh, separate gestures for like long press or home long press but i'm not using that one as well talking about notification guys this is the noisy notification four stop button notification panel count heads up and island notification you can enable it from here as i've shown you previously you can enable the less boring notification you can set the notification timeout and you can enable the flashlight for incoming calls as well talking about quick setting so yes you can set a header image from here for a quick setting let me show you how it looks like basically you will get uh, avengers and nature and all of these uh, headers here you can uh, pick from any one of them but i'm not a big fan of headers again now uh, talking about the clock size you can change the clock size on your quick setting panel let me show you how it looks like uh, currently so this is the clock size you can see 5 30 pm now let me change the font size of this clock now it is very big it looks good you can enable the battery style on the quick setting panel from circle dotted circle filled circle or text or hidden you can hide the battery percentage as well now you can see uh, that currently the quick setting panel looks something like this both the quick setting panel and uh, notification panel area is you know uniform in design but when i click on dual theme dual tone theme you can see there is a difference in colors it is dark and it is light now you can set the background opacity of quick setting panel now let me change it to 50 50 and this is transparent and blurred now as you can see it looks good but i think right now i'm going to keep it on full it looks good again brightness slider you can enable the brightness slider as well brightness slider position as well and uh, quick setting tiles you will get the option to change the quick setting tiles currently it is square and circle i can change it to circle tiles only this is how the circle tiles look like now let me change it to default this look this is a blunder as you can see it looks very weird and i'm not going to keep it i am going to change it back to the circle quick setting panel style i have enabled the surround one and you can select from all of these options i have increased the number of columns and rows for the quick setting tile that why that's why it was looking weird previously in sound you will get an option to enable pulse uh, on navigation bar on lock screen on ambient display you can increase the volume steps for media calls and alarms but i am going to keep it default now you can enable screenshot sound or you can disable the screenshot sound from here as well and uh, volume panel style yes you will get all of these volume panel style which we have seen previously in uh, many custom rooms so currently i'm using revamped usp ui style which looks uh, like this and it is it, it is good i'm not going to change this you can change the uh, position of volume panel from left to right right to left talking about status bar icons so yes you can disable all of these icons from status bar and talking about clock style a clock style is actually actually a clock position you can keep it on right left or center no center is not there because there is a notch in our display so hidden left or right talking about traffic monitor so yes as you can see traffic monitor is already enabled there and uh, you can change the inactivity threshold and interval and measuring unit from kb to bits battery style so yes you will get all of these uh, styles for battery so i am currently using this landscape ios 16 one and uh, battery you can hide the battery percentage uh, this ios one is already having a battery percentage inside that so you can keep it on hidden so it does not consume more space here now uh, double tap to sleep on status bar works like this brightness control also works like this and if you are having issues with the padding if you are if you're using a screen guard which is having you know thick bezels so you can change the padding of your status bar as well user interface so guys i have already shown you the user interface but yes you get all of these theme preset here and you can change the accent color if you want to change you can change the luminance chroma factor and you can enable the tint background and uh, talking about the ui style so i have already shown you how you can enable the uh, transparent ui so for transparent ui you can go to shishu nights so it will make your whole ui transparent but if you're using dark theme uh, nothing will be visible clearly you can change the fonts as well from here and you can change the navigation bar if you're using three button navigation bar you can change it from here as well icon pack uh, so these icon packs are available for status bar and signal icons and wi-fi icons and icon shape for system 
ambient display customization so you can enable the always on display and always on display uh, just works fine like this you can customize the ambient display from here you can add text and text animation so let me add text and animation welcome to matrix now let's see how it looks like so this is how the text look like on the ambient display now the sensor based pickup notification and wake up notification works perfectly fine but I'm not using that because I want to see the battery now charging animation you can enable the charging animation or you want to disable you can disable the charging animation as well screen of animation there are two options CRT and scale CRT looks like this and scale is the default one I guess now talking about smart pixels so the smart pixel thing is not working as you can see the pixels are not getting disabled it is uh, it is default it's not getting disabled for some reason so it's not working for me now you will get the basic uh, settings uh, for display like adaptive brightness extra dim display and you will get to change the dark theme from here or you can just enable the quick setting for that and uh, you can enable the completely pitch black dark theme as well pure black and uh, you can enable the night light live display is working as well you can change the color from here you can calibrate the color you can uh, you know choose between these preset for the colors as well uh, you can change the refresh rate from 120 hertz uh, minimum 60 hertz and maximum 120 hertz you can change it to adaptive if you want to change it or you can just uh, disable this button to forcefully enable the 120 hertz now talking about um, the fingerprint sensor speed it is good I'm not I'm not having any issue with the fingerprint sensor face unlock is also there but I have not enabled it but you can you can enable the face unlock as well it will work fine so guys this is my customization of matrix OS and it looks very good it looks a premium UI you can add or remove the quick setting tiles from here as well you will get to enable the Dolby Atmos tile from here and uh, all of the third party tiles are here and default system tiles are here there are too many tiles to enable uh, also there is an option to enable the FPS FPS monitor so you can see currently the FPS is visible here so it is going all the way down to 1 FPS as you can see that means LTPO is working in this custom room so that is a great thing Guys, okay, talking about the wide one L1 certification so yes you will not get wide one L1 you will get only wide one L3 that means you can only uh, stream Netflix up to SD okay you will not get HD content on your Netflix or any streaming application Talking about screen recording, you will get uh, to enable uh, the device audio or device audio plus microphone or only microphone or you can completely disable the recording of any sound. You can enable the lower quality, you can enable the larger file size, you can also so skip the timer of 3 seconds. You don't have to wait for 3 seconds to, uh, you know, start the recording. You can enable the HEVC encoding, you know, which is more efficient and less in size. Now the screen recorder is basically from Android 15 because whenever you start recording the screen, it will ask you to... Uh, record a single application or entire screen so when you click on single application and click on start recording this uh, this display pop-up will appear and you have to choose any one of the applications to start recording so let me show you Dolby Atmos now the screen recording will automatically start once the application is started but when I exit the application the recording should stop but it's not stopping let me just simply go back no, the recording is not stopping when I'm exiting the application. So it is not completely just as Android 15. But yes, we get something like Android 15 in screen recording. Now guys, talking about performance. Let me disable the screen recording first. First, I will talk about the battery life. So guys, in this custom room, I'm not getting a great battery backup like I have seen in the previous rooms. Or even it is not as compared to stock room. Because, uh, you know, the battery on this custom room is really average. I'm getting around 6 hours of screen on time only. Uh, on other custom room I can go up to 8 hours to 9 hours but on this custom room I'm getting up to 6 hours of screen on time also yes the temperature is again in my area increased and it is around 40 degrees celsius on uh, in the daytime and in the night time it is around 30 degrees celsius so yes we can again blame the temperature but in other custom rooms uh, I, th I think I get I got the better battery backup and in this one I'm not getting the better battery backup you will get around 6, six hour or max to max 7 hour of battery backup screen on time and if you play games, believe me, you will get around 5 hours off screen on time on this custom room. Now talking about performance of the UI, so guys, it is snappy. Sometime, uh, sometimes you will see that your UI will be hanged or it will be stuck. So you have to forcefully reboot your smartphone. So uh, this is something I'm facing on Matrix OS. So if you are also facing the same, you can tell me in the comments. It happens at least once a day, but it is not frequent. It does not happen continuously. 
Now talking about gaming guys, so I have played some games on this custom room and I will say that I have played Call of Duty Warzone first and the game completely crashed because of less RAM management. You can see currently uh, I'm using this much application and 881 MB of RAM is available. Let me clear all the application and we will see how much RAM is available. Still 1.5 GB only is available whereas we should get around 3 GB of free RAM. So I'm not sure why the RAM management of Matrix OS is not, uh, it's not good. But yes, let's see what will happen in future with this custom room. Getting back to gaming. So yes, I have played Call of Duty Warzone, but you know, as I said, it crashed. And then I played again and uh, this time it worked. But I had to reboot the phone to get the max of the RAM available so that I can play Call of Duty Warzone on it. So instead of Call of Duty Warzone, I have played Call of Duty Mobile here and it works perfectly fine. And I, I got the full FPS options here. So now for gaming video, you have to go to the different tactics channel which is Playtix Gaming the link will be in description for the video now one more thing which we have to talk about is in this custom room we will get the cliff interface working as well so yes cliff lights are there the music visualizer is there you can also enable the glyph torch from here I have added the glyph torch tile so glyph torch is working here as well in system settings go to device extras and you will see this power power share option so you can wirelessly share your power from your phone that means wireless power sharing is available in matrix os so guys that was all in matrix os uh, i hope you like the video if you like the video please uh, press the like button and comment whatever you're facing you can comment it out and i'll try to fix it now let's meet in the next video till then have a good day keep flashing